Hello, this little video is to show a repair job that was done on an MTO Sport that had an issue with the pre-rotator. This right here is a pulley that goes on the back of the engine that basically connects to a PTO. The power takeoff on this is a belt that slides along the pulley and allows it to, uh, the belt to keep slipping along it when the pre-rotator is not engaged. When the pre-rotator is engaged, it puts tension on the belt, which puts tension on the pulley. The pulley slides into this shaft like this. There's a bolt that runs through the hole in the shaft that you can see. And the shaft, which you don't see on the gyro, goes into a, uh, another shaft and it goes through a joint up into the uh, <clears throat> Bendix spring area on the rotor head where it engages with the Bendix. In this particular case, this uh, pulley has been machined down. What had happened is a bolt that ran through the hole in the pulley sheared and a little piece of metal got into the shaft right here and the metal gouged out the shaft. So I took it to a machinist and he machined this down a little bit to smoothen it out. The actual thickness was as thick as it is up here that you can see. But we cut it down a little bit smaller so that it was nice and smooth instead of getting a brand new uh, pulley set up from Germany. Then they made a small bushing out of uh, steel that will slide over the top like this and match up with the hole. Like that. In turn, the bushing will go ahead and slide into the end of the shaft which will line up with the new bolt. Now the old bolt had a countersunk hex head that went through the larger hole here and the problem it had is the threads went all the way across and because of that it makes a weak point and when the uh, pre-rotator was engaged with a little bit too much RPM put a little bit too much torque on it and sheared the bolt off a little piece of metal got between the uh, original pulley and the shaft and then reamed out the edge of the aluminum which of course we had machined down that you can see. So we'll put this all back together and show you how it was repaired. The cost of the repair was uh, less than a hundred dollars. This bearing failed also because when the uh, bolt broke the edge of the shaft came in contact with the bearing and on the old bearing it actually nicked it right in the edge here and damaged the bearing. So we had to buy a new bearing. This is kind of a special type of bearing. You can see it's got a split clip on it right there. It actually fits into the aluminum uh, control arm and then a special steel plate goes over the top of it and sandwiches between the uh, snap ring on the bearing to hold it into place so that it doesn't slop out or come out. It's not pressed in. Okay? And then this is riveted with rivets in the holes all the way around it to hold it into place. In turn, the pulley wheel goes up in against it like this and then the shaft goes in like this when it's all assembled. Of course, with the new high tolerance bolt running through the shaft and the new bushing. So I'll take another little clip of this when we have it all put back together, assembled tomorrow, which is Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll see if we can get the uh, MTO back in the air tomorrow.